governor in find your coa. Fun me call. Equime, the promise keeper. Came on board in 2015 and made a series of promises to better the lives of Deltans through his prosperity agenda. One of such promises is a transformed environment through urban renewal. Governor Kowa constructed an improved internal road network, dualization of roads, construction of bridges, drainages, flyovers, and many more to enhance economic growth social and personal lifestyles of Deltans and non-Deltans. On today's episode of Smart Delta, we'll bring you up to speed on His Excellency's scorecard on road infrastructure development in the past eight years and how it has turned Delta State to not just an investment heaven, but also a trending tourist destination. My name is Chinemere Mike Bunam. Please stay tuned. One of the indices of a fast-growing economy, according to experts, is the ability of governments to link its people, communities, and cities through a good roads network. Roads serve as boosters of socio-economic, cultural development, and regional integration. Roads, therefore, are by their very nature the arteries through which the economy thrives. They not only link workers to jobs and producers to markets and cut travel time between trading partners, but also influence the pricing of commodities as middlemen are cut off and more goods can reach target markets and destinations in record time. Road connects communities and make expansion, both economic and social life, much, much easier. And what to connect peace and quietness that the town is enjoying is good road network. The clear knowledge that good road connectivity can make crucial contributions and interventions to the growing economy of any nation or state, no doubt accounts for the reasons the Delta State Governor, Senator Dr. Arthur Fanyokoa, in the past eight years, invested huge state resources to build and or rehabilitate roads. This is without prejudice to the many new roads contract that has recently been awarded and is under construction to be supervised and completed by his successor in office, Sheriff Uberewari. Today, we have well over 900 routes uh, fully constructed, uh, some within the inauguration, a lot more inaugurated. And of the roads, we have over 55% of them in the rural areas, which is quite unprecedented. The book has it that Okawa has done more routes in the history of Delta State uh, when you put Delta and Ben Delta State put together. And that's a tradition that is worthy of emulation, which we know with the continuity government that is coming in Delta State, uh, will achieve more. The riverine communities of Delta State, which have flawed past administrations in road development, have coteled to the resilient spirit of Senator Kowa's government. This drive has led to a deluge of road and bridge construction. Ode Shakuri internal roads are a delight any day. So are Benekrukru internal roads and Isaba Road, linking Ode community in Bayelsa State and the recently inaugurated 2.1 km Obitobo Elolo Ajokure Ogborubu roads in Ogidibe. A lot of roads have been constructed in various rural areas in Okure and Koko Puraza. In Ogulaha, these are our oil producing communities in places like Burutu, Nogidigbe, we are doing road construction. These are things they never saw before. As of today, three of our bridges are under construction strong. Uh, the bridge across Asse River in Kuala, between Kuala and Ndokwa East. Uh, the Ayak Romo Bridge and then the Owa Bridge is completed now. Uh, so we're taking things by the strides because of the funding level. We don't want to keep contractors old and create uh, difficulty for them. When uh, Governor Okoa came to the scheme, he has brought a lot of rapid development into the community, opened a lot of space in the community for people to build out extensively, and the road has been so helpful to the community. This road where they do it now is everywhere they go. There is no comma in this road, so I like everywhere. So they work on no put up on nothing, nothing. So Governor Go, I thank you for the road they do for us and I appreciate you. May God bless you in Jesus' name. His Excellency Dr. If I had to call, he has done very well. This road I'm standing on now, 
Well, that was in November 2002. But with the emergence of Kowa, it has been done. It's a great relief to us. We are basically farmers, and this road has helped us a lot since it was executed. So with the execution of this road, we are able to assess the urban area. Okowa has tried very well. The road has been very bad. To the extent of when it's rain, no one can go out, no one can come in. It's always flooded with water. But we so much thank God that the road has been constructed and we are very happy about it. And also we'd like to thank Dr. Ifan Okowa for meeting up to our heads. Furthermore, the construction of Oproza Palace and Oproza Township Roads, the 10.80 km reconstruction of Okbeolomu Owodokpoko in Kiagodo, and the 8.81 km palliative repair of Patani Agoloma Tora and Gyama Road in Udofori are clear examples of Governor Koa's commitment to equitably develop Delta. Between one third and almost half of Delta State spans across very marshy, swampy areas. And in some of those places, you have pit. It is a very poor quality material that you cannot build anything on. So it was this challenge that informed us to revert to reinforce concrete pavements for most of the roads we have in those areas. For you to construct a road in the riverine area, it's different for you to construct a road in the urban area. Okowa have the network of the riverine area in the same. There are some persons in that community, they have not used their eye to see a vehicle once in their life. But today, there is road in those places. Ogula Kingdom, lying deep into the Atlantic Ocean, is not left out in the scheme of things. In the last eight years, the Okawa-led government has constructed over 21.2 kilometers of roads in Ogula, linking the communities of Obotobo 1 and 2, Sokobolo, Yokuri, Ogula, Yobebe, Benibiama roads, respectively. There are things we are enjoying here, even in this river area, that people in the urban area does not enjoy. We thank Governor Okua, not because he's the governor of the state, and because we perceive more of him. Despite the fact that it's there in Asaba, we feel its closeness more than any governor. If you go across our community, you see the road network that he has created. The road is marvelous. We have a lot of roads like this, uh, Binebiama community, Yobibe Road, those places, all of them. This river line, Okowa has changed many things. I have to give him the kudos that he has done well. Us. This road is very, very terrible. The potholes are much then. You just stand somewhere, if someone is passing out, you just splash water on you. You'll be angry. So now the road is very smooth, they are going very well. So it's very beneficial to my business. Thank you, Governor Okoa, for the road. It's very, very beneficial to me. Okre Koko, another coastal community, has witnessed the construction of its township and main axial roads, which are complemented by over seven kilometers of side drains. The completion of the 1.30 km access road leading to the Nigerian Maritime University has put smiles on the faces of the people who reside within the community. Normally we are known for agitation and because of the no presence of governors in these communities. But since Okowa came in, the detention has been doused down. They no longer agitate because now they feel the presence of governors. Okowa has done many things on top of the road. But you know that he's a, what? he's a road master list. A road master list is different from someone that's, that's a, what? a road agenda. If you follow this road like you bear like this, it leads to heaven. But you branch like first marine gate, heaven marine gate. But this road, he, is, he, he has done a, what? a perfect job. He's a home in the road. He's truly a leader. So. I have nothing to say much because what we both say was someone that has done much was deserve an appreciation. Hello. It is also worth mentioning that older and existing roads are being expanded in the continuous drive for road development. A good example is the ongoing expansion work on the Benin Onicha dual carriageway, which is part of the concession agreement of the government with the Asaba International Airport concessionaire. Smart Delta. They bossy your head, the priest woke. Eh? Now, like water would they pour for your head since you almost faint? Oh. What well, you think they think of the things where you want to write a bag of Nakoa? I don't tell you when you take a easy. Governor, go about a lot get ahead. How many you know where you are right? Mm. Oh, so they come back for worry. I do on my own. Oh. As I look, I can see I say, the road is new. 
I call the house and I will be this. They say that Isoko Road will connect to Geli Asaba Express. Sake of Nokoa, it all do one. I come down for moto, begin to look everywhere. I surprise. I say now what? As I they write, they say my book won't finish. Governor go where they walk. My book not they finish. Eh? Thomas! Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> uh, point of correction, my name not be Thomas again. Because all the things why they dapt without Kowa do, I don't see how my eyes say do. Even more than waiting I see. I dapt so tell I travel, go river line. I travel, go worry. I travel, go as a different part of Delta State. And I see and say Governor Kowa don't walk. I say, okay, make I go begin to check the legacy project for the sake of now. Go I do. I go see the film village. I go see Goka flyover. The secretary of the Senate, the biggest state secretary for Nigeria, where Governor Kowa built. I still go see him. I travel so till they call the commit Tomoso, the traveler. I walk out each way I tire. Now I see Governor Kowa matter. I don't come on hand. Now you want enter. <laughs> I just book at the right about the things where Governor Kowa don't do. Why talk collection? About the things where Governor Kowa they do. Because it's still the work. Uh, now just book at the right. Uh, okay, since now book you the right, make I give you information now. Eh? This week, so Governor Kowa they give starter packs to thousands of youths for Delta State where government they empower. Also, Governor stop, Kowa. Stop, stop, Why you they cry? I don't confuse. I don't know why I write this again. Governor Kowa. Smart Delta. Government is non-discriminatory in fixing roads regardless of status as state or federal roads. A ready example is the ongoing expansion and construction work on the second lane of the dual carriage Asaba Ugeli motorway. This is a road that crisscrosses Delta's three senatorial districts from Asaba, the state capital, through Kwale in the north, Ozoro Ole in the south, and Ugeli in the central senatorial districts. Proud to this time, this road, mostly in rainy season, it was an eyesore, practically impassable. Cars have to be going through the town, going into different channels to make sure they get through this place. The Okawa government has done excellently well in providing this road. The flare here right now is we're in a big city itself. The jobs that are being done on the road, in fact, beyond here, it's wonderful. It is. Um, Worthy of praise to the government. Now we now go say uh, what it for proper to portal in Odi. The road don't they tie for us. So Koa the try where we for the hand work. We appreciate the Koa and we may God prosper Okoa for us. Senator Koa is never one to take chances when it comes to the quality of jobs executed in the state. He constantly goes for site inspections to ensure strict adherence to job specifications to get value for money. The kind of similar thing that was done in Asaba that is also being done in the Wari Funri area. That's what we're actually doing here to try to capture all the water. And then you have a storm drainage project that takes it out. Because whatever amount of drains you do on the road, uh, without this type of major drainage program, you can't actually take the volume of water out and flooding will continue to take place. In Zaple Township, within a very busy neighborhood with lots of businesses, Smart Delta's roving lenses captured a newly constructed road called Lawrence Road. This road has multiple phases. Phases 1 to 3, 1 and 2 are completed. Izu Road is not too far away from Lawrence Road. In fact, like Lawrence Road, it has phases. Sapla is one of the towns in Opekidom, and in national sense, the road was very bad before, and now it has been reconstructed. It looks very beautiful. For people who live in this area, it's like they are now in a township. So we appreciate the governor for consulting the road for us. We will continue to provide road infrastructure because we realize the importance of providing good roads for our people. And I want to thank the youth of Sapple local government for the cooperation provided during the course of construction of the road project. When you have an enabling environment, you find that it is easier for government to return back to such places to continue to provide infrastructure. We want to thank the executive governor of this state, Dr. Ifan Yokowa, for what he has done. Previously, before they did this road, there were a lot of uh, criminal activities due to the bad road. But since they dualized this road, 
a lot of things have been going well because we are no longer hearing the issue of uh, arm robbers are here or picking pockets are there. So we want to tell the governor that he has done a very good work. Worry, the commercial nerve center of Delta State is a city on the fast lane. However, a snag that tugged the city backwards was the once deplorable and unmotorable PTI Worry Supply Road roundabout. It was so bad that motorists, especially commercial vehicle operators, avoided the area like it was leprous. With the free flow of traffic it enjoys today, courtesy of the okoa led administration, one would never imagine its once harrowing experience. It has been a tick as at that time when the road was bad. So to cross over is a real problem. We find out that some other keke riders, they beat one way. The other side, and it normally costs hold up there. But since they've done this place now, the movement is free. If they help me, maybe small. Reason being that hold up used to hold us free for more than an hour. But now if we can car passenger go free, it makes me to uh, my business to move the way I want. It was extremely bad and uh, causing a lot of ghost law. So we are happy that uh, it has been uh, repaired. We can say it is perfectly okay. So we appreciate the effort of the government. The road was bad and after fixing, the thing is giving us easy parks now and uh, it's helping us to go freely. At least it's helping us in our daily business. <laughs> Smart Delta. Within the Asaba metropolis, a whole lot of work has gone into giving the capital a whole new look. While many roads have been completed, such as the breathtaking Cable Point Dual Carriageway, the DLA and Infant Jesus Streets, many other road projects are still ongoing. Many governors have come and gone, but Governor Okowa came in and did a very marvelous work in this road can now boast of at least sales because the students now comes into this road. I want to say a very big thank you to Governor Okowa. Among the whole roads in Asaba town, it's one of the best road, this Obweke houses. But when the road started going down, potholes and everything, the whole governors, nobody cared to know what is happening inside here. Now when Okowa came in, Okowa did a wonderful thing, this area. I am so happy now that anytime I want to go out, I go freely and come back. DLA Road has witnessed transformation as residents and business owners along that corridor have not stopped talking about it in recent times. The scenario now is so different that residents and business owners couldn't help but share their experiences with our team. This DLA road bad, then all the talk come. You know if he has this road to the end, one big water side, they that standard life junction there. I remember vividly, me and my children don't fall for that water like three times before they, they can't tie the road finally now. That made me say, okay, I don't try. Because I've not been tied this road, by now, all this place, business not go to boom. Everywhere don't be dead zone. When make now, everybody don't they rush up for DL even houses not increase because they don't they assess the road. Senator Dr. Fayekowa is a godsend. Since he came into Delta State, things have changed. Whether they like it or not, whoever, even the blind, they feel it. Go around Asaba, you will see a different in Asaba. Imagine the road. Look at the beauty. Come to my area, Jesus save. There's a certain place that when it rains like this, maybe flood with carry small children, cars will sink. That come today is the thing of the past. That roads are the very arteries through which the blood of businesses and economic development flows, connecting supply to demand, manufacturers to markets, cannot be better told than what Miriam Babangida Way in Asaba represents. In its former ruinous state, all businesses along the corridor were brought to their knees. But since Senator Kawa's transformation of bulldozers came calling, the story has been different. We give thanks to God because the road was very bad. But when this present administration came into power, the man had to address it, which is uh, Dr. Ifan Okowa. He has tried his best on road. The benefit of this construction right now is that this road is an access road to our Panam Road, it's an access road to DBS, it's an access road to the Express. So it's very, very accessible. So you don't need to pass through Summit because before we actually know that Summit was only the access road down to town. But now you can use this Mary and Babangida 
to come into town and go out of town. Governor Ifan Yokoa, I would say he's very positive. He has enhanced the life of a lot of citizens in Delta State. This is Miriam Bangida Road. I can tell you that I used to know the road when the road was not dualized. Now I can say that there's a huge difference. So when they say he's a road master, I think they're saying what they really know. He has done so well on that aspect. The complete turnaround of the fortunes of Miriam Bab and Gidawe was exactly what happened when Okmanam Road and Okmanam Bypass leading to the Asaba International Airport was reconstructed with drains. Mega shops, malls, retail outlets of all sorts, hotels and eateries and drinking and beauty parlors were all competing to set up first. This main as a road that takes us from the state capital through Okanam to the Lagos uh, Odichi Road with several other roads that in number. It's a great work done by the government of Delta State. We want to appreciate the Ministry of Works and also to appreciate the contractor for a great job done. It's on this note with great gratitude to God that I want to commission all the roads through this uh, main Asia road in Okbanam. To God be the glory. The road network in Okbanam can be compared to one of the best in any metropolitan town. It was not like that before. Either that before now, they were all covered by art road. By your grace, we can now step on Kota. Thank you, your governor. There used to be a time when it rains, floods everywhere, your car can't move, even you, you can't move, and it was such a painful sight. But since uh, Governor Fine Yokoa came on board, the drainage is no more over flooding in Asaba, no more over flooding in Okpanam. There are good roads, okay? Businesses now boom. Consumers can now go from place to place, you know, doing their businesses. Entrepreneurs now can open businesses because they have good road networks. The Redeem Road, uh, Maryam Babangida Road and most of the roads at Opanam, you know, places that you could not even access before. Now people are living in those places and structures, hotels, businesses are bustling. So it is just wonderful he did a marvelous work. The continuous road development is spreading to roads like Denny's Osadebe, Federal College Road, as well as Okosume Street, Boji Boji Owa and Obolona Road in Anyota South local government area. Our people, they are farmers. And with this road now, accessibility to their farms will be so easy for them and produce will be coming out from their farm and they at large the consumers will enjoy it. So it's a very big achievement. We are so happy that the governor has brought democracy to our doorstep. The construction of Owa Lesimia Abraka Road in the Khan Northeast and Rafael Obiake Street and Lane of Bojbojoa, all in the Khan Northeast, are enjoying a new lease of life. We thank God for Governor Kowa to remember this road and then consult it because formally it's no go area. Because if you are inside town here, yeah, you call Okada and say you are going to my side, I want that. They will say, no way. But now, everybody will rush to go there because the road. Is good. Governor, if I recall, I still working. Then we used to call this road a Jigule. But now we are living in Lekki. <laughs> this is Lekki first one. <laughs> Stakeholders believe that Senator Okawa's aggressive policy on road construction is not only in line with his stronger Delta mantra, but will make him end stronger than he started. The socio-economic bond of the state is stronger as communities are now closer even as suppliers of produce now maintain closer ties with manufacturers, markets, and consumers. We're extremely very happy with what we have done. Kowa is a sincere governor, and of course is living in gold, if not diamond, in the real sense of it. The real empowerment and the real, real, real infrastructural development of Ifan Yokoa's administration is the change of mindset, the peace that he has been able to bring to bear in Delta State. You will recognize the fact that since his administration, Delta has been very peaceful. Smart Delta. Wow! The committed efforts by the outgoing administration on road infrastructure development in Delta has proven to be not just the movement from point A to point B, but about having created the right foundation for economic growth and prosperity for all Delta. Governor Ifan Yokoa will be bowing out of office on the 29th of May 2023 
having fulfilled his promises to all Deltans. My name is Chinemere Mikebunan. Thank you for viewing. The feedback segment. Question of the day. This week, we got a question from China Zamirako and it reads, the outgoing administration has done well with the construction of roads and bridges, especially with the Coca flyover and interchange. But my question to the state government is, what will they do to stop Togri activities and theft at Coca flyover? Are there measures being put in place to forestall the activities of togs and thieves, as this is becoming a massive menace to the people? Well, if you say robbery activity, we have not recorded any case of such. But uh, if you say they are causing news that I will agree with you. To start with, we are coming out with a design, like something like a barbed wire to fence it around so that they cannot penetrate. But we have actually stationed task force team in that place that normally shields them away. I want to urge all the attendants and all Nigerians and persons from across the world to continue to watch Smart Delta. They're doing so well. It's a good means of communication of what we do in Delta State. I'm quite excited that they've been getting the information out there. If you want to know a lot about what is going on in governance and development in Delta State, continue to watch Smart Delta. You will definitely be able to get all the information that you require. Text your questions to 0 7013377589 or send us a DM to all our social media platforms. It better run, run, come, come to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okoa is, they do it better. Run, come, come to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okoa is, they do. I see a job and work creation in Delta, make the youth set them higher. Okoa! I see good roads everywhere in Delta, make the people set them cola. Come live in Delta. Tell me I say. Come in Delta. Come explore the potentials of our state.